You know, the news is especially concerning because according to the CDC, only about one in a million people nationally will get diagnosed with AFM each year. And yet, according to public health officials, they are investigating nine reported cases, all of them since mid-September, and people under the age of 18. Can you stick out your tongue? It's been four weeks since two-year-old Julia Payne was diagnosed with acute flaccid myelitis, or AFM. Today, she was finally well enough to be transferred out of Lurie Children's Hospital and into rehab. But she has a long, uncertain road ahead. She's also, according to the Illinois Department of Public Health, one of at least nine cases reported in northern Illinois since mid-September. Nobody really knows um, if she'll make a full recovery or if this is something that will be uh, long-term. An incredibly rare disease, AFM is a serious condition which attacks the nervous system and can cause paralysis in the arms or legs. It can affect anyone, but children are most at risk. And because so little is known about it, it's also very hard to diagnose, often starting as a respiratory infection before rapidly progressing. Look for symptoms such as sudden onset of um, arm and leg weakness, um, difficulty swallowing, sometimes slurring of the speech. Um, they can get cranial nerve palsies, meaning they can get like a facial droop or a facial weakness. According to the CDC, the cause of AFM is unknown, but because cases appear to be linked to either polio or West Nile virus, doctors recommend staying up to date on vaccines, regular hand washing, and protecting oneself from mosquito bites. Since 2015, only four cases of AFM have been confirmed by the CDC in Illinois, but this does not include any of the nine recently reported cases which state public officials tell us they are still investigating. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.